Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles and today I want to bring you an identification video on the white sweet clover. These white spikes of lovely little flowers that we're looking at are the flowers of the white sweet clover. This is an extremely easy plant to identify and it's very commonly found along the edges of fields and also in clearings on the edges of trails. You can find this on the edges of wood lines. You can, might even be able to find it in your lawn if you let it grow long enough. So let's take a look at some of its identification features. The leaves of the white clover are going to be just like most of your other clovers, except we're not going to notice that white chevron that we're used to seeing on like red clover, for example. If we look very closely at the margins of these leaves, we can see that they are slightly serrated. So there's a little bit of serrations on the margins of these leaves. There are a few different types of leaves that you're going to be seeing on your white sweet clover. One of them is going to be these big, kind of larger leaves that we're looking at here. And then once we get higher up to the top of the plant, and then once we get up towards the top of the plant, we're going to notice that the leaves actually get a lot more narrow and linear in shape. So I wanted to let you guys know there are a couple varieties of leaves that you're going to be seeing on this plant. If we look at the stem of our white sweet clover, we're going to notice it's very plain smooth and round. It's actually somewhat stiff and wood-like, kind of woody in feel and texture. So keep that in mind as well. If we look at the leafing pattern, we're going to notice that the leaves grow in an alternating pattern off of the main stem like we can see here. And at the top of each plant, you're going to notice numerous spikes of these white, white flowers. These things are absolutely lovely. They are extremely small though, so I cannot show these flowers in any major detail. They do not look a lot like your regular clover flower that you would find in your yard. However, there is a little bit of similarity. Now we can see the environment that is representative of where white sweet clover will grow. Right here in front of us, we can see all these little white spikes, and this is the white sweet clover that we were just looking at, or at least part of it actually. I had to take part of it off so I could film it because it's incredibly difficult to film this plant just because of the way that it grows. Your white sweet clover will grow anywhere from four to even all the way up to seven feet in height depending on its location and the competition around it. This one that we're looking at here and we can't even see the top of it is about five feet high. The white sweet clover does have a couple of really good culinary uses. These leaves that we're looking at can actually be used as a vanilla substitute. They have a substance called vanillin inside of them, and that is the actual flavor component of vanilla extract. So you can actually use these leaves to make a vanilla-like extract, or you can use them as a vanilla-like seasoning for various baked goods as well. You can also make a really nice vanilla-flavored tea from these leaves. So this has a couple of really nice uses to it. The flowers of white sweet clover can also be used for a tea. They do have a little bit more of a florally taste to them. However, if you combine these flowers with the leaves, you're going to get a really nice floral, florally and vanilla-like tea. So this is a really delicious beverage, especially chilled on a nice hot summer day, which is when this plant is in season. So that's how you guys can identify the white sweet clover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.